what's up and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i dyed this wig i'm going to be using hair from bu fox hair i use their lace frontal and i also used three bundles to make this wig frontal also does come pre-plucked which i love because i cannot pre-pluck myself next i'm going to go ahead and get my got to pleat glue <laughs> spray and I'm going to go ahead and spray on the inside of my lace so the color doesn't stain my lace and doesn't destroy my lace. Because if you stain your lace, it's not going to look cute. I'm going to be using these four shades in Arctic Fox, Electric Paradise, Girls Night, Aquamarine, and then the white one. <laughs> I made a mistake last night. Maybe I can make it right. Sat on closer, baby. We can talk about it. No need to be mad. To see you said Yes, I know I'm crazy, crazy about you, crazy about your love. I know I'm a flirt sometimes. I know I get drunk some nights. I know I get way too high. I just wanna live it up with you. I know that it might be tough. I know when you've had enough. It's just how I show my love. Darling, can I live it up with you? I know I'm a flirt sometimes. I know I get drunk some nights. don't know if when i wash this if all these colors are gonna be so cute or if it's gonna look like fucking shit but i think i did a really good job in keeping all of the different colors separated but now it's time to go to the frontal this is all of the bundles that i sewed in i went ahead and i went track by track and just how i made sure that i got every single strand of hair now it's time to go to the front What can I tell you guys? I am so proud of myself because this is my first time ever trying to do more than two colors. I remember when I went to two colors, I was so nervous, but I was extremely, extremely nervous to do this wig because I've never tried to do three different hair colors. I've never tried dyeing a wig without using the water dyeing method because like I've told you guys before, the water dyeing method just assures that my lace will not get stained. This time I went ahead and used the hairspray method and you pretty much just spray got to be glued all over your lace before you start dyeing. It leave a little bit of stains so water dyeing method is really the only method I've tried that is 100% sure you're not gonna get your lace dirty unless you leave gloss in the water. I'm very proud of myself for doing this wig. This wig is honestly one of the hardest wigs that I've worked on, you guys. This was this took me about two days, so I really felt like the wig was perfected and it was really good. I did have to go ahead and go back inside the wig to add some more color to it. Another tip that I'm going to go ahead and give you guys if you guys are trying to do a wig like this. When going to get the hair dye, get too little of hair dye because... That's what happened to me with this wig. I thought I was gonna have enough. I got the big bottles of Arctic Fox, you know. I spent like over $80 on hair dye and I was like, 
this should work you know and um, it didn't it didn't work um, I still needed more so having extra hair dye is better than having less hair dye than you need so I do recommend that if you guys are doing this you guys go ahead and get enough color so you guys have enough color to go out through throughout the wig because I did have to literally go to the store in the middle of dyeing the wig and then I had to come back and really was it was just really really you just really don't want to go to the store when you're doing the fucking wig you know like that's my point but <laughs> But I am feeling this wig so much, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these videos. I really do put a lot of time and a lot of effort into these videos. This has been so much fun learning how to do wigs. And I'm so excited to go to school for it. I'm so excited to one day be selling my own custom units. Because, bitch, like, look at me. Like, I'm self-taught. Like, once I go to school, bitch, it's over. I'm just saying. But, yeah, I'm definitely feeling this look. If you guys are interested in trying this out and you guys need some hair frontals, closures, whatever you need, you guys can go ahead and head to my description box and I have all their information right there. But until next time, I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much.